welcome 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 back my beautiful people i really hope you are doing well i hope you are all keeping safe and i'm sure most of us are just longing to december because we know it's that time of the year where we get to just unwind, fill our bellies and spend time with loved ones. Whether we celebrate Christmas or not. So guys, yes guys, you've seen plenty of comparison videos. But I always think it's worth to hear, you know, from a different point of view. You know, to hear from a different nose, so to speak. So this is Ariana. So guys, I might, this. If I do apologize if I speed through this video just because I'm... I literally just filmed this and it just cut. So please, that's the only reason why I'm rushing. I may rush through this video. So guys, so um, Ariana, it came out, I think it was late September. Yes, late September. And it's from Parfums de Mali. It's a marshmallow scent. And I'm sure if you've watched so many videos, you probably guessed that it didn't wow a lot of people. It wasn't the most wild fragrance on the planet probably didn't have the impact that delina has or i mean i wasn't i wasn't uh, you know that much into fragrances when delina came out but i know it's had a huge impact i don't think this one will make the same but there we go so let's talk about oriana so it's top notes it's mandarin orange grapefruit bergamot orange blossom raspberry black currant in the middle you get marshmallow whipped cream musk and musk mallow which is amber so now the opening of this for me i do get a love don't be shy opening but then guys it does have its own thing going on so what i do pick up is the citrus and the fruity notes the orange blossom sort of takes um how do you call it it sort of settles in the background takes a back seat and then i'm sort of left with this musky whipped cream uh, marshmallow so i do actually pick up on all the notes with this fragrance it does dry down the dry down is quite like tonic very very powdery for me i do get um some people said like okay i think one person said in their video that it reminded them of the Dolce & Gabbana's Pole Femme and it did remind me but not necessarily the smell but the composition of the fragrance that sort of soft marshmallow feel um that one did remind me of part part Pole Femme um but I wouldn't say they are dupes for each other I just feel for me they both have the soft same soft experience that you get so how this compares to love don't be shy it's definitely more softer, it's less sweeter, it's more fruitier. So let's talk about Love Don't Be Shy. So now I'm going according to um so guys, I don't have a, a full bottle as um those of you watch me know I do pick up the refills because I find that for me economically it's better for me. Obviously, aesthetically it's not. So what I do is I have I buy these 10 ml um what do we call these guys? Atomizers. I purchase it from eBay and then I fill up 10 ml and then obviously I will continue to do so. Maybe one day I'll get a foot bottle, but not at this moment in time. Let's talk about the notes. Neroli, bergamot, pink pepper, coriander. Again, this is according to Fragrantica and I have a feeling these notes might be for the black bottle. This one is the current um, reformulation. Middle notes, orange blossom, jasmine, honeysuckle, rose and iris. And in the base, I think the base of this one has marshmallow, but according to Fragrantica, it has sugar, caramel, vanilla, musk, civet and labdomen. Guys, this is a uber, uber, uber sweet scent. Very feminine. If you are a male and you want to rock it, why not? Don't let anybody stop you. But it's a sweet, creamy marshmallow scent and you do obviously pick up on the orange blossom you do pick up on that neroli and then there's a touch of labdomen and i'm sometimes labdomen doesn't quite work for me but yes it's nonetheless a very beautiful gourmand scent let's move on to another one that is actually let's move on to the flanker and that is love extreme 
So this one has the similar dry down of the original. However, it has a very heavy, heavy, sorry, Bulgarian rose note. So the top has Neroli, Bergamot, Middles, Orange Blossom, Bulgarian Rose. Then you have the Marshmallow, Vanilla Musk, and you have Pomegranate, actually. I don't really get the Pomegranate um, that much. What I pick up is on a Rose, Orange Blossom, marshmallowy type fragrance. Very creamy dry down. I do feel you do like have to, you have to like rose. Rose is quite dominant. For me, it's not a fresh rose. It almost reminds me of rose water. You know, the rose water that you'll pick up at the shops, like maybe a toner or the actual one you use for, is it for cooking? But yeah, nonetheless, it's very similar to its younger sister. Well, it's more on a, you could, you could say if we had to, give it some character a bit more mature than the original and again it's not a guarantee if you like the original you are like this one okay the original is very sweet this one not so much right let's move on to another um alternative mimo from Sintra. let's pull up the notes okay so now this one um opens up again with that neroli note there's petit grade red fruits bergamot you have some milk orange blossom resins jasmine cinnamon and rose in the middle then you have marshmallow ma um, vanilla caramel musk again coming quite popular and this time cedar so what i would say to you guys is this is a more greener woodier version of love don't be shy you really get that petal grade in the opening so for me i thought i wouldn't like this i, I did blind buy this guys. i did blind buy this it's quite pricey very expensive blind buy um i do really love it and i actually find that the petal green actually makes it a little bit more interesting it's very sweet on the dry down. So it's very, very similar to Love Don't Be Shy on the dry down because of those really beautiful gourmand notes. But it does have that cre that greenness to it. So have a think about try and get a sample. I know it's actually quite hard to get find samples of these. You might want to try some Facebook groups and so on. Um, but yeah, or if you do buy um on the memo web uk website you can they have like this um you can it's 25 pounds so i think about eight samples six samples and you do get sync trouble with it but yes this is a more greener grown-up version of um love don't be shy and uh, let's talk about sweet redemption don't hear that much about it um, I hope I've actually got it up here. Yes. Okay. So again, I brought the refill bottle and then I brought myself a, an atomizer. So this one has orange flower, vanilla, benzoin, oponax, myrrh and incense. Yep. I butchered that. What can I do? So this one for me, of all the ones that I'm going to talk, discuss with you today, is the more unisex leaning. For me, I find it to be a orange blossom, well, let's say orange flower, um, smoky scent, sort of smoky woody. So quite similar to the opening of Sintra. I'll say this is the closest one to Sintra, but then it has the orange blossom of Saffanad. So if you, um, if you like Saffanad, you may enjoy this one, but with it, this one has a more smoky sort of woodsy um feel to it and it does have elements that orange blossom feel of love don't be shy but it is less sweet in fact there's not that much sweetness for me personally and then the last one is sundazed from by radio let me pick up the notes if i even put the notes here oh yeah here we go so this one has mandarin orange and lemon top notes the neroli this time is in the middle along with jasmine sunback for the base you get musk again with some cotton candy 
so for me this one smells much more closer to um it's gone ariana and cintra so i think somebody said i'm not sure i might have got this but someone said it for granted it's like sundays and cintra had a baby you would get ariana this one is the closest to ariana however it's more citrusy than ariana ariana sorry it's more younger so even though ariana you, we can say yes it's quite a young woman scent if, if we want to say that this one is even more younger it's more punchy because of that citrus note it does smell like it has orange blossom but according to them it doesn't but it is very cotton candy it's very youthful so let's let's wrap it up let's sort of discuss all of these fragrances and let's see which one is worth your money which one is worth your coin okay so guys what i would say is that of all these sort of orange blossom sort of sweet candied gourmand fragrances sundays i would say again i'm just trying to create the image for you the character i'll say Barreda Sundays is their younger one it's the flirty one it's the more fun version you know of those orange blossom gourmand scents so if you are looking for that for that type of scents this is the one for you if you are um looking for something a little bit more girly with a, a little bit fruity powdery sort of musky scent you might want to go for oriana um if you want a bit of a more unisexed one that is not too sweet i would go for sweet redemption by killian sorry if i didn't mention that one if you want pure sweetness just pure sweetness gourmand lover i would go for killian's love don't be shy if you love a bit of sweetness but you love a bit of rose, a little bit of a mature, sophisticated one. I would go for Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. And if you wanted, again, you still love your sweetness, but you want something with a little bit more depth, a little bit more character, I would go for Cintro by Memo. So these are all the niche ones. I'm going to go. Let's talk about what for Grantica are saying and on here on youtube now some people have compared love don't be shy and some of these fragrances to watch by mikalev and guys what i can say this is just my nose personally and just because if you're like me and you're blind by it and i just you know i want to help you save some coins this is a tote for me it just takes a totally different dimension to all these fragrances that i've mentioned the all the ones that I've spoken to you guys about today all have some similarities with each other. This for me personally is quite different, but there is like a large number of people who think this is the same to Love Don't Be Shy, for example. Same type of sweetness, but I, for me, that's about it. This is more sweet um, tuberose. It's a sweet tuberose plummy fresh type of scent so for me you might be disappointed if you think this is a love don't be shy alternative again another one this one is very similar to watch this is velvet vanilla from mansira again this one is more fruitier than love don't be shy it's more it has a touch of green greenness in the opening there's a pear note Again, same sweet, if you want sweet, but it does take a different dimension. So if you're finding it hard to get love, don't be shy where you live. For you to get this thinking it's a replacement, I, I'm i not sure I personally would agree with that. But yes, it's got this angelic, is it angelic on green note? Um, now, one actually that does have some similarities this one and the pin-up one which comes in a pink bottle this is from jean-paul gautier and it's called this is cabaret this is 2019 and in 2020 
I think. I think I've got that right. In 2020, they had the pinup one. They both shared the same notes. It's just a couple things that I've changed. This one, because it's got orange blossom, there's a slight similarity. It's got this citrus, citron and ginger note, which gives it this type of freshness, this type of um, punchy feel. In fact, it's a little bit more closer to Mem Memo Sintra. It has a kick, that you know, that ginger kick to it. So for me, I would say this is closer to Sintra. Possibly the extreme, just ever so slightly, and a bit of... um. No, wrong one. Um, What's this one called again? Sweet Redemption. This is the one for me that has a slight closeness, but again... I don't want you to be disappointed. And again, it's, it's I think it's quite hard to get hold of these ones. You do need to look in kind of like your TK Maxx's savers if you're in the UK. Maybe try um, online eBay, Amazon maybe. Um, another one that not so much off a grant but on YouTube is C from Armani. Fiore, because it has orange blossom. But this one for me again has a more... Black currency, so maybe close to Ariana, but still, it's just more of a creamy orange blossom. I think there might be no really in this, I'm not sure, but again, I don't want you to be disappointed thinking you're getting the love, don't be shy experience. But then, I do think for designer, you know, try your luck, it's a beautiful scent, you know, top, you know, top 10 for life for me. And then the last one is Rouge Smoking. It's cherry. I think there's probably even, I don't know, heliotrope. But yeah, there's this there's a little, a little slight resemblance of the dry down of love. Don't be shy, but no one is sweet, no one is creamy. It might be that labdanum note. But yeah. So if you're looking for love, don't be shy alternatives, or you know, these are your niche ones to try um but for me in terms of design i haven't smelled everything i think this one uh maybe dolce and cabana pour femme for this one maybe aquilina gold maybe but yeah so guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another video take care bye